My name is Jenny Klein. We came, we learned, we conquered. Welcome to the Next Step 2019 graduation ceremony. I would like to introduce Heather Kosak, our outstanding principal of the Next Step Transition Program. Welcome, Heather. Okay, everyone, let's start up the ceremony. Thank you for that nice introduction, Jenny. And thank you all for attending this evening's ceremony. As Jenny said, my name is Heather Kosick and I am the program supervisor or principal of the Next Step Transition Program. We will begin our program this evening with the graduate processional. Guests, please rise as you are able while the Next Step class of 2019 enters the auditorium. You may be seated. Next Step graduates, class of 2019, you've made it. Each and every one of you has worked hard to overcome your individual challenges and barriers to get to this milestone in your life's journey. As I reflect on this group specifically, the class of 2019, 
the words community and friendship come to mind. During the past three years, if you, have, you've, you would have entered our cafeteria um, during lunchtime or break time, you would have seen groups of students laughing and enjoying each other. While they are also goal-driven, this group of students prioritizes friendships. They are a kind, caring, and thoughtful group. Going out of their way to look out for their friends, encourage them, and to support them. Why is this important? As much as we emphasize employment and reaching your goals, work is not the only part of a fulfilling life. We need balance, people who will support us on the good days and the bad. Time spent with friends doing things that we enjoy, all of these things make our lives fulfilling. My hope for all of you is that you are able to reach your goals, sustain, sustain meaningful friendships, keep your minds open to new experiences, and make friends along the way. Students, as you reflect on your time here, my guess is that you would agree with me that you couldn't have reached this point without a help, help and support of others, some of whom who are here tonight. A special welcome and acknowledgement of gratitude to all of the family members and friends who have supported our graduates. All of us at Next Step know that our students would not be able to achieve their goals without you. Thank you for all of the love, support, and guidance that you have given and will continue to give as our students gain increasingly more independence. We thank you. And tonight, we are honored to have with us on stage Superintendent Christine Osorio, Director of Student, Ser <laughs> <Go ahead. Yeah. laughs> Director of Student Services, Tricia St. Michaels, and school board members, Michelle Yenner, Ben Jarman, and Caleb Anderson. Thank you to all of you. Without the support of a forward-thinking superintendent, supportive director, and caring and thoughtful school board members, the Next Step program would not be the program that it is today. And we definitely owe it to you to um, give you our thanks. And to our Next Step staff. The students and I are thankful for you every day, and especially now as we celebrate achievements of the class of 2019. You have skillfully guided, coached, and sometimes pushed our students toward their goals. You have believed in each of them when they were close to giving up on themselves, and you have supported them to reach one big goal, earning their diploma. Thank you for all that you do directly with and behind the scenes for the success of our students. And finally, uh, to mention a word of gratitude for our community partners. We are priv privileged to partner with Vocational Rehabilitation Services, Ramsey and Washington Counties, Kaposia Incorporated, Comedy Sports Twin Cities, the Metropolitan Center for Independent Living, and our many worksite employers, too many to list here. With the support and dedication of these community-based groups, our students are prepared to meet the challenges of the world ahead of them, and we thank you. At this time, the school board members and superintendent and director can seat, have your seats down in the audience. There will be one change in your program today. Unfortunately, our past graduate speaker had some um, unforeseen changes at work and was not able to be with us tonight. So we regret that Carlos will not be here. Um, perhaps he'll be able to be a graduate speaker in the future. We will um, be hearing from our current year graduation speaker. So at Next Step, we have the privilege of working with young adults, meeting them where they are in their journey, and walking alongside them as they grow. This evening, we will be hearing some words of wisdom from current Next Step graduate Patrick Creel, or as he is known to many of us, PC, and his teacher and case manager, Holly Stone. 
Patrick demonstrates to us every day what it means to be a next step student. With his positive attitude, quick wit, sense of humor, and concern for others, Patrick is hardworking and has been patient with all of us and potential employers throughout this year during the process of customized employment. His hard work has recently paid off as he was offered employment working at Panera Bread, a job where his best qualities will shine through working in the dining room. Please welcome Patrick and Holly to the stage. Hello, my name is Patrick Cranio. And my name is Holly Stone. Patrick, it's a big day. How are you feeling? I am feeling afraid about graduation. Why are you afraid? I will miss my friends and staff. I care about them. Well, are there ways you can keep in touch with your friends? I can make plans with friends. Get coffee with people. Talk to people on email or in person. Those are all good ideas. Do you think you'll make new friends in the future? Yes. Mm. Maybe I will meet friends at work or find people to play Dungeons and Dragons with. Or I can meet new mm. friends when I move out on my own You're one good. day. That reminds me of a quote from a movie. Don't freeze. We don't want you to get frozen and stuck at Next Step or let your nervousness take over and keep you from doing awesome things. We want you to move on and be successful in life. Do you know what movie Don't Freeze is from? Black Panther. One of your favorites. What are some other quotes you like from Black Panther? You get to decide what kind of king you want to be. Ooh, why do you like that quote? because you get to choose how you act in life, at work, with friends, with your dog. You get to choose how you treat other people and how you react. Speaking of people, are there any people you want to thank for helping you graduate from Next Step? I want to thank Katie and Holly for helping me to stay calm as my case managers. I want to thank Renee for talking with me. I want to thank Pam, Megan, and James for keeping me hard at work and helping me get a job at Panera Bread. I want to thank all staff, like student teachers, job coaches, and others for helping me. Thanks, PC. I really appreciate hearing that from my right-hand man. <laughs> like T'Challa's father tells him in Black Panther, you are going to struggle, so you need to surround yourself with people you trust. It's nice you have so many people you trust. Even as adults, we can't do it alone. We need support and help sometimes from people we trust. Anyone else you want to thank? I also want to thank my mom for making me happy. I want to thank my dad for being both silly and strict. I want to thank my brother Will and my sister Maggie for keeping me calm and being my teachers. That's very kind of you. Do you have any more Avengers advice for the graduates? Agent Carter said, all we can do is our best, and sometimes the best we can do is start over. Yes, graduation is a starting over point, but it can be an exciting one. You can take everything you learned at Next Step and use it with friends, at work, and in living on your own. I can't wait to hear from you, PC, and from all the other students about the exciting ways you start over after Next Step. Next Step graduates, mm. let's take our best shot at life. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you.
PC and Holly. Thank you for sharing your thoughts about the future and your well wishes with us. I think many of our students don't realize and may never realize the impact that they have on us when they're in our school and in our classrooms. We are honored to have had all of you as students. Next, I would like to introduce to you Michael Brook Mueller. Mueller. Yeah. <laughs> Michael is a teaching artist from St. Paul. He has been leading workshops in applied improvisation at the Next Step since 2015. Michael is the Director of Education at CZ, CSZ Comedy Sports Twin Cities and also partners with the Autism Society of Minnesota providing social skills workshops. In addition, he wears glasses, which makes him look smart. <laughs> so without further ado, please welcome Michael to the stage. Hi, uh, good evening, and congratulations to the 2019 Next Step graduating class. Yay, give him a big round of applause. PC, you set a very high bar to get to, uh, so thank you for that. Um, so I, I, I have worked with some of you for, for a while. I know Michael and, and McGuire and Danny and Danny and, and, and well, <laughs> Lindsay, all of you. Um, thank you so much for, for being in my life for the past year or two. Uh, some of you I don't know. I haven't had the honor of meeting yet. Um, as Heather said, my name is Michael Brookmuller, uh, and over the past five years, I've been honored to come to Next Step and teach applied improvisation workshops. Uh, for those of you that may not know, improv is acting without a script, right? So what we do is the students come up and we play games and we tell stories all without a script, which terrifies most people, right? Yeah. As it should. But not the students at Next Step. Nope. They are not terrified. They are creative, supportive, accepting, inquisitive, and flexible. When I was asked to speak at graduation, I jumped at the opportunity. Who wouldn't? I mean, what a great honor to be given the chance to offer some parting wisdom to a wonderful group of young adults. Then the reality set in. <laughs> what am I, as an improvisational comedian, going to say to inspire graduates? So I decided to fall back on what I know, improv. So here are a few thoughts. One, stay positive. Look at situations that may be less than ideal with a positive attitude and figure out a way to make it work for you. You will have highs and lows in life. Look at both with a positive mindset and you'll be more likely to achieve a positive outcome. Support each other, which I know you do already. You have a wonderful community, a community that is not anchored in a building, but is created through shared experiences. At the next step, you have forged friendships that I have been able to watch grow and, and strengthen. Continue these relationships after graduation. Be there for one another, share in each other's victories, and support one another when things get hard. Now, as I said, I've seen firsthand and know how caring and supportive you are. Keep that sense of community when you are no longer in the building. Be bold. You are each unique and have your own special gifts. Be bold and share those gifts with the world. Commit to the choices that you make. Put yourself wholeheartedly in your decisions. Believe in yourself and others will believe in you too. Now, I've been serious for about as long as I like to be. <laughs> um, so let's get a little silly. Uh, and I would love to invite probably the only person in this room that loves improv more than I do up to join me. So, Michael, would you come up and join me on stage? Let's give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Michael, I think, has taken my improv workshop maybe more than I've taught it. <laughs> Michael, thank you so much for joining me, and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, so, Michael, what we're going to do is, uh, and for you, what we're going to do, Michael doesn't really know yet, he's going to roll with this. Uh, 
is we are going to tell you a one-word story, a game we like to call Shatner, um, not because of the content, but because when you tell a story one word at a time, you sound like William Shatner. <laughs> He was the original Star Trek captain, if you don't know, uh, or he does Priceline commercials now. Cool. Um, so Michael and I are going to tell a story about, uh, we're going to tell, actually tell a poem about graduation. Do you want to do that with me? Sure. Okay, come on in close, because we've got to get on this microphone. Right. So, uh, you ready to tell a poem about graduation? If I have to. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. at this point it would be awkward if we didn't. Yeah, that is true. Cool. So. Uh, I'll start. Okay. Graduation is the best time of graduating. <laughs> For you all, you all are the best class that there is with Michael. <laughs> <laughs> we are the ones to beat. We will. Rock and roll. Because. <laughs> because there is no other class. <laughs> when we achieve this goal so hard, <laughs> like a uh, rock. <laughs> we are celebrating with lots of <laughs> fun people to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will party, party <laughs> at the All Star. Party. <laughs> That's after we do our little chores. <laughs> also, I have a little car. So don't all get in it. <laughs> Let's have a big round of applause for Michael. Lastly, I'd like to say thank you all so much for the honor of speaking here at the graduation ceremony. Thank you to all the wonderful students, staff, administration at The Next Step. Uh, I wish you, class of 2019, all the successes in the world. Thank you. I'm just impressed that Michael got Michael up on stage. Woo, that was awesome. I've had the privilege of watching um, Michael and other students in their comedy sports sessions, and it is one of my favorite things. Yep. Um, I got to get back on track here. That was so fun. Um, so the next part of our program, um, we would like to share with you our next step annual slideshow also known as the graduation video to students. This year the slideshow was collectively produced by our yearbook class with the help of their talented teacher, Holly Stone. Thank you for taking the time and care to compile the following photos to create this memory for the class of 2019. Enjoy.
I look at that video, I see a great group of students. I'm really going to miss all of you guys. All right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. You're here tonight to earn your diplomas. Before we begin the presentation of the diplomas, a reminder to students, so you will come up, come forward, hand your name card to Hannah or Angel. When your name is called, accept your diploma, shake hands with me and the rest of the people who will be standing over there before returning to your seat. Are we ready? All right, at this time, I would ask Director St. Michael, Superintendent Osorio, and the school board members to begin taking their places back on stage. This year, two of our students, Hannah Eckert and Angel McKelvey, will read the names of our graduates. Come on up. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Abdullahi Adi. <laughs> Elijah Sanchion. <laughs> Amber Broji. Michael Cook. <laughs> Patrick Creel. <laughs> McGuire Davis. Nicholas Drury. <laughs> Lindsay Folk. <laughs> Danielle Herzberg. Jennifer Klein. <laughs> Austin Knotts. <laughs> Danielle Lard Thigman. <laughs> Dominic Martinez. <laughs> Ryan May. <laughs> Michael Bunga. <laughs>
Brittany McKelvey. I'm Dennis here, Mohammed. <clears throat> James Mardorski. <clears throat> Bailey Peter Fessel. Jacob Raba. Malik Rogers. Devante Spears. And Denise Stapleton. <laughs> Jerry Tao. <laughs> Jamie Toady. Eli Winston. <laughs> Michaela Whitman. Michaela Whitman. <laughs> Charmaine Wright. Anna Eckert. Angel McKelvey. Picture Angel. Woo! All right, graduates, please rise. Class of 2019, get your tassels ready. This is a tassel business. Please join me in the time honored tradition of moving your tassel from the right to the left of your cap to show that you have graduated. <laughs> you guys can sit down. Before we um, head across the hall, for we have refreshments and cake, um, a few last comments. I want to personally thank Cassie Wolf for planning and organizing this special event, Adrienne Grosick for her assistance in keeping us all on track, Sherry Erickson who provided the program music, Century College for continuing to partner with us and allowing us to use their auditorium, and lastly thanks again to everyone who has come to support our graduates tonight. Yeah, you can clap. That's fine. Graduates, almost the cake. 
So graduates will be taking one last class photo up on stage following the ceremony. So after the photo, we'll direct you to exit off the stage and walk back, walk back up the back hallway to meet your guests. Um, family and friends, please wait for your graduate in the auditory, auditorium lobby. There you will find a poster for each graduate and cake and refreshments in the back room. Yeah. <laughs> At this time, graduates, please rise and turn around to face the audience. It is my honor to present to you the Next Step Class of 2019.